Hi guys, Ben here. This is my replication of uh, Laser Sabers SJR's Looper circuit. Um, there is it oscillating, running at a, a power saving mode. Um, right there, if you see closely, those little oscillations, not the overall ones that, that are fluctuating, but the little choppy guys, those are the wave um, pulsations happening within the circuit um, right now. I used a 22 millimeter ferrite pot core and uh, I wrapped it with 28 gauge wire. I did five layers of 28 gauge and the rest I filled in. Um, it's wrapped by filer without all the foil and stuff. I'm going to redo this circuit uh, with 34 gauge and aluminum and copper uh, foils. Uh, to see the difference in performance I can get. Um, so there's again the circuit, two LEDs going, there's the oscilloscope. Now, I powered this puppy with my crystal power cell, which is beaming right there beside it. Um, I can prove to you that this is a crystal power cell by, I've disconnected, hold on one second, I've disconnected the positive there on the LED. Now, I'm holding this with one hand. My other hand it grabs the LED. It's on. It's off. It's on. It's off. That is one of the characteristics that are special about these crystal power cells. Um, this is a six, six inch, six stack, uh, all in series cell. Now, what I'm going to do is plug it in and show you the circuit with the uh, crystal power cells plugged in. So that's plus, that's minus. I'm going to take a little bit to charge. I uh, might have to adjust the resistance a little bit, but you can see it's getting brighter. The um, Oscillations are starting to happen more frequently, and these are getting brighter. I have a 1K pot right there connected between the emitter and the negative of the capacitor. I'm going to adjust that pot, and hopefully we can get a nice shot. This camera likes to go out of focus. Now that's dumping. There, I can make it. I can get her to run like that. Uh, constantly. It'll run like that forever till the, uh, till the transistor burns out. And what I eventually plan on doing when I get a more stable and a nicer built um, mix of wire and foil within the pot is activate when the crystal cell is dumping via a small JFET uh, transistor that is activated somewhere on the LEDs. So when the LEDs are being oscillated, it's dumping. And my goal is to find a nice equilibrium to produce um, a lot of light. Uh, but yeah, it's a very interesting circuit. And, um, you know, it, it's, uh, I thought I'd be able to make it really quick, but, you know, I ran into troubles with it. Tried many different combos, and yeah, here it is. Now I'll try to get you a shot of what the waveform like this is on hundred Hertz per division or something like that this oscilloscope is very old by the way this works without the oscilloscope the oscilloscope does affect the performance of the circuit I'm just putting it on here for the video so we can get a visual of what's going on now I will try to adjust the oscilloscope and hopefully we can get a good visual of the waveforms so there's 1k uh, no, nothing good there. 10K, oh, still can't really get a nice shot. And 100K, well, I don't know. You can kind of see what's going on. This oscilloscope really is a joke, but just for purposes of showing you uh, the oscillations, I decided to include it. I have another oscilloscope, but it is... Uh, broken. I got proper probes for it and then it broke. So, c'est la vie, huh? But, uh, yeah, um, 
So I'm going to do a couple more replications, and I hope you like this video. And, uh, yeah, you know, peace, everybody. Ciao. Oh, yeah, and that's a uh, blue and a white LED. The white one's on the left, the blue one's on the right. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Okay, here's just a shot. I'm going to disconnect the positive lead, and uh, we'll see just how it looks. So positive lead's disconnected. She's still oscillating nicely, but it does die. It doesn't go forever when it's like this. If I have it really dim, it, uh, it, uh, goes much, 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 much longer. Actually, with this waveform how it is now, you can't even see them because they're so, they're so few and far between. Like this, this circuit will run a long time. Like, I could come out tomorrow morning and it'll probably still be going. But, I'm more concerned about trying to integrate these crystal cells in a uh, in a really efficient way with this type of circuit. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys.